What's up, YouTube family? So today we are going to be finishing Tom Tom's room. Um, I already put his bed together, so you won't have to go through all that because his bed was like a lot to handle. Like it was really a lot to manage. So it was just going to be boring, so I didn't even record it. But got his bed together. Um, his room is pretty simple. Just his bed. He has a dresser. And his television. And that's all he really seems to need or care about in life at this point. So I just got him some other things. Like some posters. Um, I wanted to make him like a little hat rack. So I got some uh, wrapping paper to like wrap around some old boxes that we have. So then like put some hooks on it. Y'all will see. Like just something for him to hang his hats on. So that they're not... On the backs of the chairs and the doorknobs everywhere else in a damn house. It's so annoying. So, yeah. We're going to go fix up his room. And turn it into a big boy room since he swear he's a teenager now. But whatever. Let's go. Alright, so here is the biggest poster. I don't know which wall to put it on. Um, Either this one or this one. Or originally I wanted to do it like right over his bed. I don't know. You want it on this wall? Yes? Yes. So like in the middle or like more so over the top of your bed? Over the top of my bed. Right here. Okay. Just like right there. Alright. In the middle. Alright, so I think... I don't know how to... Do this like do we should we start with the ends and then work our way to the middle like these posters i got off of amazon they're all wrapped canvas so Hello. i got some poster board from the dollar store and then tried to wrap the canvas around the poster board so i'm a little off like you can still see some white but hopefully it'll just blend in with the wall but okay let's try to put but this up how about we can like just start with this piece start with the ends Yes. Okay. Start with this piece and like keep going on. All right, we'll try it that way. Let's go. So we got it up. Kind of had our measurements off a little bit, but we got it up. I look like it. It's like T'Challa is coming right at us. Yeah, because I'm not a kid, so my tablet doesn't have more than one kid's game. Um. So then I also got him some other posters. So now we just need to figure out where he would like to put them on the wall. I and then... Wanted, I wanted to put this right here. You know, make people seasick with all the spinning in circles time time.
so we got all his posters up and now it's time to do his curtains but oh, oh, I'm gonna yeah, enlist the help of a tall person because height is something that I am lacking and that is also what husbands are for um so I'm not using the traditional like ones with the nails and the screws and stuff I'm just gonna use some command hooks and then just sit the curtain rod inside the command hook with the curtain. Excuse me, Daddy will be able to do it because he's doing it on his own hang hangers. So let's get started. Um. Okay, well you're going to stand up there because at this point in my life, if I fall down, I don't know if I'll get back up. But now I don't know if I like that. Should we put both curtains on there? Yeah, you should. Okay. You should. Can you take it down? Thank you. Then you use my height. That's why God invented tall people. No. To help the it. short ones. Yeah, I suppose. That is exactly why he invented y'all.
so the last thing that I'm gonna do today for Tom Tom's room is to use his flat sheet to make a beanbag chair for underneath his bed because like that's where I have a box full of his books and I need to get him a bookshelf for down there but for right now I'm just gonna build this beanbag chair that way that can be like his little reading corner yeah so I'm gonna I'm filling the beanbag chair with some uh, packing peanuts because I had ordered some stuff for my business and it came in a big old box of packing peanuts and I wasn't going to use them so I just threw all the packing peanuts into a trash bag and now I'm about to cut a circle around the trash bag so that it can be the top and the bottom of the beanbag and then use the rest of the flat sheet to go around the trash bag and then bam beanbag at least in my mind it's going to be that simple and that easy but heaven only knows so we might as well get started and see if it works <laughs> Okay, so here's the top, here's the bottom circle, and then I'm just going to cut along this line so I have that whole strip, and then wrap that strip around the bag, glue it shut, and then glue on the bottom to one side, the top to another, and then hopefully crossing my fingers. That will create a bing bag, I'm hoping. It seems simple enough, but I just feel like, knowing me, something's gonna go wrong. And it's not gonna come out how I expect it to. But I'll never know unless I try. All right, and one forever later, it feels like, here we are with his little chair thing. Chair thing, his poof. <laughs> to go under his bed for his reading corner. And I don't know if it's too high, because I stuffed it some more. Because at first it looked like it was a little short. But now I fear it's a little too high. But I mean, if it is, you can always just... I didn't expect that to happen. There we go. <laughs> you can always just put it on the side. Put it on its side and like use it as a pillow for his head. And he just lays there and reads. But it's done. Yay, it's over burn the heck out of my hands for this but it's done all right so here is the finished room focus please thank you um his little hat rack put his belts on there his hoodies for as he goes out of the door and then down there his little hangout corner he was down there earlier today i let one of his uh little friends come over and they were on the computer chilling down there so yay success and then little books um that's just temporary the little the boxes with the books in it until I get a proper bookshelf that'll fit underneath there but he's not complaining about it so I'm not really in a rush um and I also need to get him more books so that's a lot of space and then all his posters and such that he put up, his curtains, yeah, that is Tom Tom's room. And overall, he seems to be very pleased with it. He closes his door when he comes in, and we don't see him again until it's time to eat. So, I guess he's about a teenager right now. But alright guys, please make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Can I take you there?